Hey there everyone! Today, I'm diving into a topic that's buzzing across Europe, Tesla's full self-driving, or FSD version 13. Now, with the recent adoption of the Driver Control Assistance Systems Regulation by the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe, known as UNEC, the future of autonomous driving in Europe is closer than ever. Let's break it down. First, let's talk about the regulation itself. In September 2024, UNEC rolled out Regulation Numbered 171, which sets the safety and performance standards for driver assistance systems. It's called the DCAS Regulation, and it's a big deal. The main point here is that while these systems can assist, the driver must stay engaged and ready to take over at any moment. Safety first, folks! Now, moving on to Tesla's FSD V13. This latest update is packed with some impressive features. We're talking higher resolution video and native AI 4 integration at a smooth 36 frames per second, which really bumps up those object detection capabilities. The AI model's size and context length have tripled making decision making even sharper. And how about audio inputs? FSD V13 can now respond to emergency vehicles and navigate more smoothly, avoid collisions better, and even clean its own cameras more effectively. But how does Tesla get this tech on European roads? Here's the five-step approval process. Step 1. The regulatory framework. UNEC's DCS regulation sets the groundwork. Step 2. Compliance. Tesla must ensure FSD V13 meets all DCS requirements with a keen focus on keeping the driver engaged. Step 3. Technical documentation. Tesla submits detailed technical info to European authorities, explaining how FSD V13 ticks all the boxes. Step 4. Testing and evaluation. European authorities put FSD through rigorous testing to verify its safety and performance. And finally, Step 5. Approval and launch. If all goes well, Tesla aims for an early 2025 launch. But remember this is pending regulatory approval. So what's the big impact here? For European drivers FSD V13 promises a safer driving experience with fewer accidents, smoother traffic flow and overall more convenience. But the timeline is not carved in stone. Regulatory approval processes and approvals per individual country can take more time than anticipated. Still, the potential benefits are huge. As we wrap up, remember this, UNEC regulation. Num 171 is a massive step forward in making autonomous driving a reality in Europe. Tesla's FSD V13 is poised to revolutionize how we drive our cars in Europe. Don't forget to stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay engaged, and keep your eyes on the road. If you enjoyed this update, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for more Tesla news. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.